Hello there. Today we'll be doing meet code number 18. Um, this will be a heap problem. Um, as we can see, there are no easy problems in trays. So uh, our problem is going to be kf largest elements in a stream. So let's go over this problem and find out what's it all about, uh, what this is all about. Um, design a class to find the kf largest elements in a stream. Note that it is the kf largest element in a sorted order, not the kf distinct element. So, um, right. So, explanation about what's going on is um, we're we're looking um, for the third largest item here in in this particular example, and that. Um, the largest item in the in in these um so that would be four out of out of this list one way uh we could do this it would cost us um o of n time for each insertion uh even if we're able to do a um you know find the location it still takes o of n to put it into a list so we need a different data structure to make this a lot faster. And data structure is called a heap, um, as suggested in the neat code. So uh, what a heap does is that uh, we can retain um, the, the number of largest elements and the smallest of those uh, cave elements is going to be the largest uh, element in, in, a, in this particular stream of numbers and that's why we're going to use a heap and maintain a um a min heap of that particular size um, and then we will have always have that cave elements as our largest element this way uh we can reduce um the insertion time and uh, uh to to log n and the uh popping time to uh, log n Depending on the number of items um, that are available, um, we can get this done in, in faster um, than the previous way of n times n to n times log of n because of every pop and push. Um, this is because uh, the, the, our limitation is the number of uh, what is our k largest item, and uh, we would need to um, eject every single item out of our uh, num and that would take log n time and that would take n times log n time so um let's start uh by defining our heap so to create a heap we use a um, library called heap q and we use heapify what this function does is that it's Turn, transforms x into a heap in place. So we want to make sure we only have k elements. So while length of self dot min heap is greater than self dot k, we're going to pop um, the elements that are uh, not useful to us. Okay, suppose um, that we don't have the kf largest element, right? Um, suppose there are less than k elements. We, we don't want to uh, pop yet, so we just want to add. So this is the heap push function it pushes the value into the heap. Um, if we can, if we know for sure there are going to be k elements, we could use the heap heap push pop um, function. So th what this will do is that it will push an item onto heap, then pop the smallest item, and uh, that would just save us our time. Let's, let's try that a little later. So at this point, um, 
if we have more than our k items, let's remove it from our heap. And now we're returning the smallest uh, item, which is um, at position zero. Let's run the code and submit. All right, that was pretty quick. So let's try that heap push pop method and see if it will run for us. I doubt it would run, but if it does, we have a faster um, solution here because it's only one line and we return the smallest item. Run the code. It should work. Let's try this example test cases. Okay, it worked again. All right, here we go. Let's give this a shot, see what happens. Out of range. As you can see here, what happened was that um, we did not have K elements inside our, um, our, our function yet, but we were forced to return um, the zeroth item. So that, forced us to uh, have an out-of-bounds error. And so this does not work here. Another thing is that um, why should we return um, this particular solution until we pop? Like, we shouldn't return anything. We should be returning negative one if it is less than like I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's that's what's supposed to happen. Um, but of course, negative one is not a very good option either. It should be like none or something. Um, like, but I don't think that works either. So, right. So this is kind of like broken, I would say. Um, so it's kind of like a broken algorithm uh, question. I would recommend changing that. Uh, but anyways, we have solved the problem. Uh, we have understood the concepts and um, we, we have implemented the solution using the heap queue library, uh, creating a min heap. Um, so if you have any questions, please comment below. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And if you want more videos, check out the link in the description below. Um, nice. Uh, so have a good one.